have total fear or no fear at all. A swimming pool is most parents' safety nightmare. These parents are keeping their foe close and prepare for that worst case, a slip. Shawnee Huff has three kids with autism. She says her family has come too close too many times. We just didn't hear her for a second, and my husband and I both at the same time jumped up because we just had this feeling. She went through the top step, and then she had gotten out, and her little wet footprints were right there, and it was a total reality check that at any second she could have gone in. Drowning is the number one cause of death in children with autism and other special needs. Getting them in the pool, though, may be the best thing you can do to stop them from becoming part of that statistic. I thought, you know, maybe I can prevent one or two deaths from the canal, and maybe they can swim to the side until someone helps them, or if they're with someone and they fall in, they can swim up to the wall and not just kind of float away or drown or anything. They're probably the whole reason why I thought of doing this. 30 kids take the plunge today, learning just what to do if they ever end up in the pool alone. Some have to be coaxed, but parents say it's worth it. If you fall in the water, you have to figure out a way to get back, and that's what these teachers are teaching them, is how to get to the side of the pool. They just don't have that consequence of what could happen, and so never underestimate your child, because if there's a way to get to the water, they will. Here's to a warm pool, family, and hoping that day never comes. Josh Burton in Gilbert, Cronkite News.